Hey guys, how are you? I am coming to you with a quick haul that I did um, at the local waterfront rescue mission and um, a new store called Roses Express. <music> watched my other videos you know what's going on with the bacteria that they found so I'm trying to work on doctors I put two calls in to several doctors to try to get the ball rolling um, because the more research I've done the more I've found out um, and I felt like this bacteria has been in my system for the last year but that'll be a separate video so I just want to do this really quick um, uh, little uh, haul video um, the other day while I was going to my fluid um, infusion uh, I saw the sign as I was going to the hospital that said um, sorry I'm trying to put this one thing back together that apparently fell apart in the bag but I will hot glue it. Anywho, so I saw the sign that said 69 cent um, sale today only. So, of course, I didn't care how I felt. I knew I had to get to the sale to see what was going on. So, they had tons of items that clothes on sale, but I didn't have time to go through clothes. Um, I really wanted to just look for, like, home decor stuff that I could uh, repurpose. So, um, one of the little things fell off. But this is, like, a, um, a rotating uh, picture holder display but I it's silver I'm going to repurpose it and spray paint it probably gold um, because my home decor in the living room is um, gold fuchsia and turquoise and a little teal just to like offset some of the color um, so I think I'm gonna put this um, I have to decorate my above the kitchen cabinet space so I think I'm gonna put this gold um, and it'll just be a display up there. Um, I doubt I'm, it's not going to have any pictures in it. It's just going to look as like a decorative display. Um, it's glass that is only one that had glass um, panels in it. Um, so I'm going to take that piece of glass out. So it'll just look like this whimsical little piece. So that was, I'm trying to find it. Originally they had it for $349. And I got 30% uh, off. So I, they took a dollar and five cents off, which made the total to be um, $2.24. So I thought that was not bad. Um, I also got this cute little uh, candle holder. It's like a heart. And it's um, it was like this dingy silver. So I had some metallic spray paint. Um, because this will go in our bedroom, either on one of my side tables or in the bathroom because our colors in our bedroom are like, um, silver, lavender, purplish, um, color. And in our bathroom, it's like gray, teal, and like a lime green. So I'll do tours when I'm, you know, got everything, uh, together, but I already went and took that out and, um, spray painted it, uh, metallic. Uh, a, a, you know a shinier metallic color so I got that and that was I don't even know I think I probably got that for I don't know like a dollar 
it was probably less than a dollar um because my whole total for everything that i got was nine dollars and five cents so i'm trying to look at some of these things and remember because i already did the price tag off of that one so um i got this decorative uh plate it hasn't been cleaned yet so uh this was um i think 249 and i got 75 cent off of it i really really like it i can't decide if i want to keep it the silver color and like you know just do the metallic after i clean it up or if i'm going to do it in gold it just depends because it you know could be a good decorative uh centerpiece to hold like little balls and stuff like that so i haven't decided quite yet what i'm gonna do got this little plate um it's not glass but that is glass that i just had and this was 99 cents um so yeah i think i don't know like i said um i may do um above the sink i mean above the kitchen cabinets um like the little plate stands i may do that and i may put a saying in this not sure but if i do of course i'll do a diy for you guys i also sorry i got this box i mean you're like what so this was 69 cents um so it was just a wooden box um i'll try to insert a picture right here of what it looked like but i spray painted it gold i know the camera is not doing it you know justice right now let me see if i can i'm in the office space so maybe i can see my shirt messy hair don't care yeah that's what that's what today is so yeah it's gold and i just put some letters on it so this will hold our mail because it was accumulating on the kitchen counter which drove me crazy so i've separated um the little mail um i have it divided um to where i have like our bills mail for me and mail for my husband so it'll be right here in the office i'm gonna bring like all my rooms um you know what they look like before we brought the house when it was completely empty before we repainted stuff eventually i'm going to be trying to uh get with one of the ladies that i follow to do like some virtual um decorating tips to help me because i'm not a decorator by any means so all my ideas i get from uh youtube pinterest stuff like that um her name is uh she's a cpr for the body so check her channel out so um me and her kind of talked um as soon as i'm completely better with my surgery uh situation I'm going to reach out to her. She's in New York, but I told her, I'm like, I just need some virtual help. Like, you know, knowing what colors. Because I don't want all everything to be gold, but, you know. So, that's heel. No, the heel are there. So, let me put all this stuff back. If I don't break it. That's what I'm, you know, trying to get the work. We found a desk, and I'm trying to get everything organized in this office but my husband's like, we're, we have so much space in the house. We have like 2,200 square feet, but we still look like we're in an apartment. And it is crazy because I'm like, well, I don't know where I'm going to put this stuff, you know, because in my mind, I'm looking at like, you know, wanting shelves up and certain things. And we got to get stuff out of the garage to put shelves out there because a lot of my DIY stuff could just go in the garage um, so it doesn't clutter up the house. Um, so I have a lot of projects. Um, that I'm working on and uh, I got an idea from at home with Nikki like sometime last year to do like a project binder and so I have this cute little book um, that I jot down every room in the house and what we want to do in the house to make it a home so that way we don't get sidetracked we know kind of like what the budget will be. Uh, we know what supplies we need for DIYing something, whatever the case may be. So it keeps us on track. So I think that's a pretty good tip. So the next haul is um, this new store that we have here. Um, it's called Roses Express. And um, see that? Mm, yeah. Roses Express. I'm trying to block out the city, but anywho, you know I'm in Florida. 
But um, yeah, I spent $45 in the store, um, which I don't think was bad for everything that I got. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So I'm really funny when it comes to sheets. Um, normally like in our room, you know, it's a thousand plus their account. Uh, just depending on the brand because there are brands that you can find sheets that you know um, We have a set from Southern Tide I'll link that in the description box where it's elastic on the entire rim of the sheet the fitted sheet and it's a 300 thread count. My sister-in-law told me about it. And I was like, uh, 300 thread count? Kind of look like I'm snobbish or something. But I was just like, I've experienced some stuff that, you know, is itchy or, you know, it just doesn't do good. But she was like, no, you know, it was wonderful. I think I spent like 50 bucks for these doggone sheets. And I was like, girl, you better be right if I'm spending this kind of money for these sheets for a 300 thread count. When I say those are the best sheets that we have ever purchased. My husband's like, when are you gonna get more? And I'm thinking myself, they're $50. Yeah. So I got them from West uh, Point Mill at the outlet malls in Alabama. Um, but I'll leave the link to the website because I think they're the same price no matter what. So yeah, those are some awesome, awesome sheets. But anywho, let's get back to what I was doing. So at this store, like they have everything, home decor, everything, clothing, um, I mean, it's not fancy clothes, but it's clothes for everyday clothes. Um, and they have uh, electronics, they have some food items, they have plants. Like, I mean, that was pretty much like a little mini Walmart or something. Um, so I got these 100% um, twill microfiber fitted sheet set. It says $19.99, but they marked them down to $15. So, of course, your girl is in the store unzipping it, just trying to make sure, like, I need to see really what this feels like. And they feel really, really good. So, I was okay with, you know, purchasing that for our king size bed. You can't beat that for a whole set of sheets. Um, and the company is uh, Today's Living. Never heard of them, but hey. They also had an Avon collection of um fitted sheets sorry the sun may be glaring these were $3.99 this is just the fitted sheet only for um queen beds two of our rooms have queen beds our room and um easter my stepdaughter her room we have king beds in there but i wanted extra sheets you know if i can find them that cheap you know because the guests they're not going to be here all the time so if something feels a little itchy or whatever then oh well then you can go back home just saying uh so i got two sets of those one in like a gray color and one in a gold i didn't care the color because you're gonna be asleep you don't have to match the room i ain't i'm not even into that like as long as i have a nice comforter to have a decorative pillows who cares what's underneath you know the sheet so i got two sets of those and i'll probably go back to get some more um, cause they have tons of them. Um, I also got this really, really cute box, which I made me think of lupus. Um, it says rely on God alone. Uh, can you see that? And it has butterflies and it's purple and it was $2. I was super, super excited because this is a pretty deep box. Um, so I just thought that was really cute. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for probably here in the office or putting little knickknacks in my bedroom so it doesn't clutter up like my nightstand area. So I'll probably do that. I think I'm gonna go back because I will be doing, um, you know, once I reach a certain number of subscribers, I want to, I don't know if it'll be a 50 number or a 100 number, um, I wanna do a giveaway to, you know, someone. And if that person just happens to have, you know, lupus, then I definitely would like to give one of these boxes filled with whatever. Um, but yeah, you can't beat that for $2. And they had the big ones. Um, they were like this long and they had like the magnetic lid. And I think they were like five or six bucks. And they had the same thing, just a different style box, but the same thing, but had all kinds of different things. So I definitely will be going back. I didn't want to spend all my money in there yesterday. So, um... Also, I don't know if you can see, this is just the, um, what do they call it? I don't know. It's the decorative, uh, 
foliage that you put in your base when you're doing a, a flower arrangement. Um, and it was uh, fuchsia, so I was super excited. Um, so it was $5.99, so that was an awesome, awesome deal. Because like if you go to Hobby Lobby and stuff like that, you have to catch a lot of that stuff on sale. Um, you know, when they're doing their half off, because I'm not trying to pay full price. But I want to do a nice um, arrangement for our four-year because I finally found a um, table for the four-year area. Um, I have a mirror. Everything was thrift store fine. So once I get that, you know, organized in the way I want it, then I would definitely get that video out to you. Then I found this bling because your girl likes bling. It's a um, over-the-door hook rack. And it was $5.99. So I thought that was really cute. And so I plan to just put this in our closet. Um, and I will put, um, you know, in the back of the door. And I'll put my bras in there. Um, scarves, stuff like that. You know, that I don't like, have to throw them everywhere. But yeah, so that's what I plan to do with that. And I also that I don't have featured, um, I got my husband some gym shorts, like the basketball shorts, the really thick, good kind, um, $5 each. So I brought him two pair of those. So I think I did pretty good for um, this haul. Um, a couple of things that I found while I went to Dollar Tree to get some stuff that I was looking for. I found this cute little um, journal book. It has a little bicycle on it. And the pages kind of look vintage no, if you can see but it's like a yellowish tint to them but you can't see it sorry because of the sun but anywho um i'm working on a um my prayer closet so that video will be coming out and you'll get to go step by step on how i'm creating my prayer closet so guys i think I'm trying to make sure i think that is pretty much um it so i hope you guys are having a wonderful day this is monday the second that I'm recording this, um, I've been up since about 10:30. Um, I really don't feel the best, kind of having a depressed mode, but it is what it is. That's life. Sometimes, sometimes you just feel overwhelmed, um, and it doesn't matter how much faith that you have in God. You know you're gonna be okay, but it's still you're human. You you have those days. So today I've been cooking, um, thinking about my parents a lot. And one of the last recipes my mom gave me um, was her uh, cornbread dressing. So I've got that in the oven. Um, I got ham in the oven and I also got some potato salad. So that's going to be for um, dinner tonight. So I'm super, super excited. So at least I've been craving it, you know, and I just was like, oh, I want some of her dressing. So I was like, give me strength, Lord, to get up and do what I got to do to fix this. Um... I just had to take some pain medication because I'm just, I don't feel good. So if you're, if you're looking at this channel, you'll be like, girl, what that got to do with the haul? But if you really know my channel, you know, it's, it's getting awareness um, because I suffer from lupus. So I'm just being real with you on how I feel, you know, what's going on to my day to day life. But regardless of me having, you know, lupus, lupus doesn't have me and I still have to go on with, you know, life and I'm trying to make my house a home. So, yeah. Till next time, guys. Be blessed.